All right, I thought it'd be important to show how to install the uh, electronic autofocuser because there's going to be some people that don't know how because I sure didn't and the instructions are just trash online. So there is a little Allen wrench screw in there. Uh, it looks to be a, I don't even remember, I think it's a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and you basically unscrew it and then, um, sorry, let's back up the camera here. Um, Let's screw it a little bit. And basically it'll slide right off. So it screws in and then it tightens, uh, tightens in. So you need to take off this side of the, elect, uh, of the, um, of your, uh, feather touch. So this side of the feather touch is going to be taken off. You will leave the nice fine grain and all that on this side. So, uh, I'm going to go back and do some more installation here. So we'll hopefully get this done here in a few minutes. Okay, the next thing we need to do is install the bracket onto the EAF. Uh, there were screws that was included, um, and basically it has to look like this. And then it's going to... try to get in here with the camera, sorry. Uh, it's going to mount in like this, and then there's going to be a connector that connects these two pieces together. So it'll uh, essentially focus with the autofocuser. And then uh, I'm going to put some screws on the top up here. There's two screw holes that we can go into. And then essentially, like I said, uh, that's set. So uh, there's some little um, connectors that I'm going to install and I will uh, show that next. All right, so there's four of these little connectors that comes with it. So third one. And you just got to find the right one that's got the, the, the right size that'll fit on there. So it's, uh, there's no rhyme or reason, but they basically have Allen screws that you adjust down and tighten and then tighten onto the EAF. So, so one side will go on the EAF like so, and then you'll tighten it down and then the other side will go on like so, so, so you kind of want to do it like that. And then uh, I'm going to have to adjust the top a little bit, but that gives you an idea of kind of like what it'll look like when it's installed. So I'm still working on it. I'll get it installed and I'll show you the finished product. All right. So what I did is I tightened down the bracket. There's two screws on uh, the electronic, or I'm sorry, on the feather touch. And then basically I loosened these screws up top so I could get the bracket exactly where it needs to sit and everything's in there. So uh, at this point, we're good to go. Uh, I just need to do some final tightening on the, the screws and stuff like that for the Allens down here on the on the bottom. Uh, but I think we're good to go at this point. We should have the electronic autofocuser, so uh, we'll test it out here in a little bit. So I will say one thing I do like about the Feather Touch is that you can move it around quite a bit. Um, so it's it was helpful in moving it in different areas so I could tighten the screws. So basically I just rolled up the, two, the, the four screws here and tightened them there so they're nice and tight. So everything's good to go, and then you can just drop it back down, uh, and everything looks really nice. And then you have your electronic autofocuser on the other side, and it's all good to go. So we're just about done getting everything set up onto the uh, telescope mount, so uh, I'll keep working on it.